let's have a party. Let's have a party for our life. We got my son's birthday coming up. My wife's got it all decked out and beautiful. But of course, it gets my mind churning <laughs> about the things of life. You know, what it seems like to me many times when we have those moments in our lives where we can celebrate something, where we can can have a moment of peace is all the preparation it takes to put something like this together. The work and effort. I can, I can see moments in my life where God was preparing me and preparing you for what's to come. The work, the effort that we have to put into it, you know. What, <laughs> what we have to go through sometimes to get a moment to celebrate, you know what I mean? And it's so real, you know. I can think of just time after time where God was probably preparing me for struggle or whatever it was that was to come, a new job, a new relationship, preparing me to meet my wife, because <laughs> she wouldn't have liked me and <laughs> she met me a year or two earlier, you know? Sometimes in life there's a preparation for the celebration. We gotta be prepared to get our party on. <laughs> and then of course my mind starts thinking about once this party's over, Axel's had his birthday party and all of our family has come through the doors. We've celebrated our son. Comes more teardown. <laughs> Comes an aspect of putting everything away. Of going through the process of filing the memories. Of putting away the stuff so that maybe we can use it further on kind of reminds us of life too you know we get to a point in life and we celebrate and then everything has to kind of go back to normal uh, I need this wall back because I can't see the TV when I'm in the kitchen cooking <laughs> things got to be put back the way they were or maybe not exactly the way they were and sometimes the changes that we've gone through and celebrated will affect the way the rest of the house is looked like or the rest of our lives are decorated from that point on. Because these moments, these defining moments of our lives have everlasting or lasting <laughs> repercussions on our future. Maybe we don't do things the same. Maybe we go a different route, but you know, it's all about the preparation the celebration, and then the organizing for the future. Just something God laid on my mind today, and I, I pray it blesses you because, you know, when you're in one of those moments where you can party, man, get your party on. <laughs> Celebrate hard. Maybe you're in a preparation mode where you don't know what's coming around the corner. It's not always bad. Sometimes it is. Like we feel like we're being prepared, we're being built up, we're being strengthened. And then maybe you're the teardown, <laughs> the put away part of life right now, where you, you've gone through some storms, you've gone through some victories, and now you're just trying to put the pieces back where they're supposed to be. And maybe you do things a little differently from now on. Hallelujah. Maybe we've learned a lesson or two along the way through the preparation and the party, the celebration. And we say, you know, I can do things this way now. I, I, I can see my life going in this direction now. I can be a little kinder, share a little love, whatever it is. Be it in the preparation, the party, or the teardown. It's all a part of God's divine plan for our lives. See how nice it looks for one day. <laughs> one day. Hallelujah. Well, actually for a few hours. But amen. The effort that my wife went through, the effort that I went through, the effort that you go through, and, and, and getting things in order, and then filing stuff away so that we can do it again next year so that we can move forward and forward and forward. Ladies and gentlemen, just something God laid on my heart today. 
Let's party where we get the opportunity. Let's go through the preparation. Let's be prepared. Let's be strong. Let's grow. And then when we have a chance to put things in the past, let's prepare for a really strong future. I love you. God bless you. Share this message. Maybe somebody needs it. Ladies and gentlemen, get your party on.